Hey all, uh, we'll see how to install WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 in a silent mode uh, using response file on Linux in this class. We have to follow uh, these four steps uh, to install uh, WebSphere in a silent mode. Uh, let us go uh, step by step. Uh, let us perform the first step. Merge the three zip files provided by IBM into one folder. Let us check that. So IBM has provided uh, these three zip files to install uh, WebSphere 8.5.5. So in a normal uh, GUI mode, uh, we can use uh, directly uh, with these extractor folders. But if we need to install uh, through silent mode, we have to merge these three into a single folder. So first we have to, we have to extract them and then uh, we have to merge them. I have placed extracted files here. I mean, I have placed extracted folders here uh, let us merge them uh, i use a simple technique uh, to merge uh, i'll rename uh, all these uh, three folders to common name then the files and folders existing in these folders will merge to one folder so these all files and folders and these folders should come together in one folder so let me rename to the common name I want to rename a second folder to the same as first folder. So now you can see both names are same. Press enter. So now it will ask do you want to merge this folder. I will say yes. So if you open and see, see now you are seeing the files and folders in disk 1 and disk 2. I mean file 1 and file 2. So once we merge third folder, even this disk 3 should go into the one folder. Let me rename to the common name. So yes. So now all the three folders have been merged to one folder. So I have copied uh, this folder uh, to the Linux. So I have copied other folder here. And we can use this folder while installing the web sphere. Next, uh, we have to create the required folders uh, which we need uh, during installations uh, manually. Uh, the basic folders are VAS root and IM shared. Let me show them. So I have uh, created WebSphere and I am share folders. You can just uh, create using this command. Uh, so you can use my mkdir command and you can give any name you want and create the folders. So two steps are done. And the third step is to create a response file. We, response file is nothing but uh, will give all the required configurations uh, which we need uh, to install WebSphere. So once we create this response file, we can use this resp response file in multiple systems so that we can create WebSphere with the same configurations. So here um, we need uh, IBM installation manager. As I said, to install WebSphere, first we need to install IBM installation manager. You can check my previous session, uh, you can search it with Pads WebSphere session 3. Uh, you can check there how to install IBM Installation Manager. 
so in this command uh, we need to go to installation manager root and then we have to execute this command to create a response file and the response file would be created in this path so I have created these folders as well and the temp files would be created here uh, let me navigate and show the fold show the folders As of now, these folders are empty. Once we uh, run this command, uh, the, the silent file, the response file would be created. So let us see how to create response file. So we have to run uh, this command IBM IM. Uh, this command is used to open IBM installation manager. Now IBM installation manager is uh, getting open. We need to add response uh, repository config file uh, first. So let us go to the software and locate a repository config file. This is a path of a repository config file. Let us copy this path and give the repository. Okay, I want to copy this complete path. Let's go back to installation manager, file, preferences, add repository. Okay, test connections. Repository config file is configured properly. All these electric repositories are connected. And here uh, you, you, you could see here it is recording. So here we are just giving the required configurations to install WebSphere. So once this step is done, uh, only response file will be created but WebSphere won't be installed. So let us go ahead. Let us select the version, WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 Accepting the license Yeah, let us check this path OPT IBM I am shared OPT IBM I am shared yeah, we have created these folders okay. 
yes we have created uh, these folders as well Yes, we have created these folders as well. Going ahead with default language. I'm going ahead with default settings. So now it is showing the total required space. It would be requiring around 3.1 GB. So once we click on install, just response file would be created. Click on finish and close the installation manager. Okay, so now uh, the response file uh, would be created. Let us navigate and see see it. If you go through the command, uh, the response file should be created here. Yeah, see earlier this folder was empty or else only one folder was there. This file has been created now. We should use this file in the next command uh, to install WebSphere and uh, it will take all the configuration details uh, which we have given uh, while creating response file. So here we input the created response file in this command and the, uh, in this command the logs will get placed here and by this word we are accepting the, li accepting the license. Let us run this command now. We have to nav navigate to tools folder. Till here it is a common path like previous command. So we have to go to tools. So let us navigate to this path. Here we have to run the command using imcl. As I said in previous classes, uh, to execute uh, executable files, uh, we, we just use dot slash and then the followed by the command. Even shell scripts uh, would, can run using this in the similar way. So I'm just giving inputs uh, required for this script like accepting the license and uh, giving inputting a response file and giving the logs location here so let us execute it uh, it would it would it would take a while uh, for the web sphere to get installed depending on the speed of the system it may take around 5 or 5 to 15 minutes
so WebSphere application server has been installed uh, let us navigate through the folders and see um, how it is installed this is a uh, vas root uh, this is the base binary of the web sphere these all are the folders uh, which are created during installation let us open any tool and uh, check whether it is installed properly profile management tool is uh, used to install uh, management or application server profiles let us open the tool and see WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 has been installed successfully. Uh, we'll see how to install and configure profiles in the next classes. If you have any questions or doubts, please note them down below. If you want to learn a WebSphere application server administration course, uh, you can subscribe to this channel so that uh, you can get more videos in near future. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.